आज दुनिया ये महसूस कर रही है कि इंडिया मिन्स बिजनेस Analysts expect India to retain its position as the world's fastest growing major economy this year. India will have probably the greatest growth rate, the fastest growth rate economically. I think uh, India um, has more promise than any large country in the world. In India, there are about 97.9 million credit cards in usage at the moment. In the financial year 2023 alone, there were over 2.9 billion credit card transactions worth over 14 trillion Indian rupees across India. In April 2023, credit card usage in India exceeded that of debit cards. Remarkably, the transaction value of credit cards was also nearly three times higher, with credit cards accounting for a total of 1.33 lakh crores compared to 53,000 crores for debit cards. In this video, we will be diving into the credit card growth story of India. But before we get into the details, have you wondered why credit cards were invented in the first place? Well, let me tell you an interesting story. In 1949, Frank McNamara, a New York City businessman, found himself at Mazur's Cabin Grill, a popular restaurant, for a date, only to realize he had forgotten his wallet. His wife had to pay the bill, which motivated McNamara to find a solution to avoid such a situation in the future. This led to the creation of Diners Club with Ralph Snyder, Frank's lawyer at that time, marking the introduction of the world's first credit card. Initially, the service offered cardboard cards to a select group of men for use in 27 restaurants. Now, let's look at the history of credit cards in India. In 1980, the Central Bank of India issued the country's first bank credit card, soon followed by Andhra Bank, both offering Visa credit cards. Vijaya Bank introduced the first MasterCard credit cards in India in 1988. Initially, the credit cards were only issued to customers earning above a certain annual income. Between 1988 and 1993, various PSU banks started providing credit cards to a select group of customers. Meanwhile, in 1987, HSBC Bank introduced ATMs in India for the first time, prompting Indian banks to start offering debit cards to their customers as well. Over the last decade, there has been a significant increase in the use of credit cards, with the number of cards issued in India growing at a compound annual growth rate of 20% over the last 4 years. I'm sure you might know someone who has snagged a hefty discount at a Marriott thanks to their credit card perks. It might seem like credit cards are just handing out interest free money with a generous 30 to 45 day repayment term all while offering numerous benefits. Well, let's explore how credit card companies manage to generate revenue despite these generous offerings. There are two main sources of revenue for these credit card companies: interest income and fees. First up, interest income which makes up about 40 to 50% of a credit card company's earnings. This comes from two types: revolver interest and cash advance interest. Revolver interest is what gets charged when card holders don't pay off their purchases on time. Cash advance interest on the other hand is applied to money withdrawn against the credit card limit. Interestingly, only about 15 to 20% of users end up using this service. Now, on to the fees and charges. Some credit cards have a joining fee and a yearly membership charge providing another income stream. Then there is the interchange fee which is what merchants pay to the customer's bank every time a purchase is made with the credit card. Lastly, there is money to be made from EMIs. Credit cards earn through interest charges and processing fees on these EMIs. So, next time you swipe your card, remember it's more than just a transaction. It's part of a complex system generating revenue in multiple ways for these companies. Now, let's understand what's driving the growth of credit cards in India. Number 1, restriction on BNPL apps. According to an article on Forbes, strict regulation around BNPL apps has been one of the drivers for growth. The RBI enforced strict rules for BNPL fintechs, limiting their ability to lend money to people. Number 2, increase in fintech and bank partnerships. In recent years, many fintech companies have emerged offering credit cards without strict income criteria. There are many FD backed credit cards in the market. allowing you to borrow up to the amount you invest in the fd for example one card number 3 co branded credit cards many consumer startups in india have launched their own credit cards in partnership with banks offering irresistible discounts to purchases for example amazon icici and swiggy hdfc cards fun fact during last year's great indian sale by amazon 
ऑलमोस्ट वन इन थ्री परचेजेस वेर मेड यूजिंग अमेजोन आईसीआईसीआई क्रेडिट कार्ड नंबर फोर इंक्रीज फाइनेंशियल अवेयरनेस इन द पास्ट फ्यू इयर्स फाइनेंशियल इन्फ्लुएंसर्स एंड ब्लॉक्स हैव मेड पीपल मोर अवेयर ऑफ फाइनेंशियल प्रोडक्ट्स एंड हाउ टू ऑप्टिमाइज देयर स्पेंडिंग बाय चूजिंग द राइट क्रेडिट कार्ड इन फैक्ट देर इज अ सब रेडिट कॉल्ड क्रेडिट कार्ड इंडिया विच बोस्ट थर्टी थ्री थाउजेंड मेंबर्स हु आर इंटरेस्टेड इन क्रेडिट कार्ड एंड ऑप्टिमाइजेशन एडिशनली न्यूमरस इन्फ्लुएंसर्स हैव बिल्ट एन ऑडियंस ऑफ क्रेडिट कार्ड इंथ्यूसियास्ट ऑन प्लेटफॉर्म्स लाइक ट्विटर नंबर फाइव इंक्रीज कंज्यूमरिज्म द राइजिंग ट्रेंड of discretionary spending on vacations travel entertainment and consumer durables has also accelerated credit card adoption in india when examining the leading credit card issuers in india hdfc bank stands as the front runner in the credit card market holding a 20% market share close on the heels are sbi icici and axis bank with market shares of 19% 17% and 14% as of December 2023 at the moment the credit card penetration in india is at just 3% but this number is expected to only grow in the coming years finance professionals forecast that by the fiscal year 2027 the aggregate value of credit card transactions in india is expected to hit inr 51.72 trillion this projection is based on a compounded annual growth rate of 39.22% from financial year 2022 to financial year 2027 similarly the volume of credit card transactions is predicted to rise at a cagr of 26.43% throughout the same period that brings us to the end of episode 6 of scale by i tribe i am interested to know if you also use a credit card if you do please share in the comments what influenced your decision to get one thank you for watching do like share and subscribe and click on the bell icon to stay tuned for the new videos This is Namneet signing off.